Fighters shake hands in the middle of the cage. Oh, he's in on a single again. Has to reach, just gonna look to look Yeah, it's effortless to take him down. Again, you hit the nail on the head. We're talking about a guy that that just he competed at the highest, highest level of uh, coll collegiate wrestling. And, and it dominated. Just, it dominated. Absolutely dominated. For a long time. Yep, then he goes to the NFL and dominates. I mean, you're just talking about a guy that naturally, athletically, is, is so far superior to probably any, anybody he's going to face in the octagon or in the cage. You know, he's just he's a freak. And it appears in this in this fight here, he's just going to wear down Abuada by taking him down repeatedly, laying on him, pounding him out. And Donnie, how old is Hasselrick? 42, I believe, 42 years old. That's old for the cage. Yeah, we've, we've seen a lot of guys, you know, kind of see their skills diminish as as they got up in years. Uh, obviously, Randy Couture is still fighting at a very, very high level, and he's around the same age, 42, 43. Uh, but you think of some guys that are getting up there, you know. Uh, Matt Hughes comes to mind, the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Uh, one of my favorite fighters, my favorite fighter, actually, but... A guy that skills it seems to have diminished a little bit, you know, as he gets a little bit older. Even some people say Chuck Liddell a little bit as he's gotten older, maybe have slowed down a little bit. So only natural. You know? Yeah, no, it happens, man. Again, Hasselrig has to be more active though from this position here. He's in his full guard, but he's not really working to to advance his position. He's not really working, and the referee's gonna stop and stand him up. And I, I understand that, you know, need more pressure here from Hasselrig. He looks tired. Uh, yeah, Abuada looks tired, though, too. I'll tell you what, you had a 250-pound, 260-pound guy leaning on you. And Hasselrig right for the single. Yeah, right for the single. And when he gets on a single, it's not, it's not even like he's shot. He just kind of no. takes it. Let's see what he can do for it now. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's great he's taking him down. But what are you going to do when you get him down? Pressure him up against the cage and rain down some punches here. Let's see his power. Let's see him finish. All right. He's finished both his fights up to this point. Maybe Kamora, no? Not from where he is. No. Yeah, good point. Just figure maybe he's just so strong he could, could do it from anywhere, but you're right. Again, it's tough to see from our angle here, but it appears that Abuad is, is working something up. Oh, look at this. He's going to come out the back and possibly take Hasselrig's back. He's got it with both hooks in, and, he, and he's going to and he's going to flatten him out. He's got both hooks in. Hasselrig looks tired. Abuad is able to get both hooks in. He came out the back door as both hooks in. Let's see what he can do with it. He's so far, Hasselrig's defending it well. Yeah, he is. He's, he's defending it well. He wants to, again, he wants to try to turn back in to Abawada. Abawada's flattening him out here with the hooks in. You know, and it's a five-minute round. Just remind you of that. Yeah, it's a long round. He's got a round. lot of time to work here. He's just got to keep working so Mohal doesn't stand him back up because he's in a position that he wants to be in. I Does he have it I in? I think he's got that rear naked choke in, and he's looking at, he's looking to straighten him out here. It's in. It looks like it's in deep, Mike. I can't tell from this angle, Donnie, but I think you're right. I think he's got it in. He, I, and the more Hasselrig moves, the deeper in it is. He does. He has it in. I'd be very, very surprised to see this go much longer. He's trying to soften him up with some punches and maybe try to re, re, reapply the uh, rear naked choke here to end this fight by submission here in round two. He's got both hooks in. And again, it's tough from our angle, Mike, but it appears that he's got the rear naked choke. And, and that's, that's it. it. Yep. Wow. 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 Uh, Show up shocking Wada. victory. Uh, I'll tell you what, we couldn't be more wrong in the two fights we've seen Hasselry in the BCX. We thought Shay Knott would handle him with all his uh, veteran experience. Hasselry coming in. Hasselry dominates Shay Knott. Then we see Joe Abuada come in, a young guy. He's only got three professional fights. He hasn't fought some, on some of the stages that Hasselry has. And he comes in in a second round rear naked choke submission um, over Carlton Hasselrig to become the new champ. Impressive. You're right. What we thought we'd see from Ott is what we got from Abuwa. Yeah, you're right. You're right.
Joe Abawada, a young guy, 26 years of age. Impressive and very, very impressive. And just like in MMA, they come out, they hug, good Ladies respect. Ladies and gentlemen, at four minutes and 10 seconds of the second round, the winner by submission due to rear naked choke, Joe Apocalypse Abuata! Abuata impressive, become the new champ. And he earned it, Donnie, yeah, he, he did. earned it. He did. And we have a new heavyweight champion, Battle Cage Extreme USKBA. Joe, congratulations. Uh, unbelievable fight, Carlton. It's very strong. Tell us about that choke. Wait, wait. Listen. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, Carlton. Here's you, bud. <laughs> I'm my breath. <laughs> Toughest guy I fought in my life, man. And I see why he was a pro bowler. The fact that he's 42 doesn't mean anything. He's fucking tough, man. <laughs> he's tough. Uh, he took you down pretty much at will, it looked like. But then you were able, once you had him stretched out, uh, you would not let go of that choke. I try. I, uh, he had my timing down. I kept trying to set him up for a cross. But, hey, he figured it out. So you got to adapt, man. It's a fight. Sometimes technique doesn't mean anything. You just got to fight and dig deep. Well, congratulations. It was a great fight. And uh, what's next for you? You want to give a shout out? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my sponsors first. Exalt Sports, Dr. Cindy Woods, Gaspari Nutrition, Defiance Fight Gear, Steiner's Tavern. Hey, here's to everybody in California getting wasted watching me fight. Alex Wilkie's Martial Arts. If it wasn't for this man here, these two other guys, I wouldn't be here today. Terminator, the machine, all you guys. Johnny Neck Crank. I did it, boys. Joe Apocalypse Abuata. Time to party at Club Havana now. Woo. You deserve it. Battle Cage Extreme is the Champions League. Battle Cage Extreme is where the champions bleed. Fighting for their pride, respect, glory, and dreams. When the boys come to battle, know the Champions League.